Open the Add Edit Student Details form and change to Design View. The property sheet should open on the right side of your Microsoft Access window like this. If not, click on the icon in the taskbar so it is open and select the properties for the entire form. Click in the picture property under the format tab and you will see an ellipsis, three dots. Click on the ellipsis to open a file browser dialog box. Find the image that you want to insert as a form background. Make sure it's been resized or cropped to suit the size of your form, as using options such as stretch or tile may cause unexpected results. Click OK. A good image for the background of a form will usually have its opacity or brightness altered, so that it does not interfere with the user's view of the data entry text boxes where a poor image will make the form difficult to read, like this. To remove a picture from the background, simply return to the form's property sheet, select the picture property, and delete the name of the image that is there. Access will ask if you want to remove the image. Let's put a good image back, and while it's slightly smaller than the form size, we can use stretch without too much pixelation of the image in this case. The client wants their business logo in each form positioned in the form header as shown in Report 3. The logo should be positioned and resized to match the required dimensions from the report. Use the Logo tool to add the company logo which can be found in the R drive. The next part of this tutorial will deal with adding a new form with a subform.